Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to day one, 2019 UK Open. And our first live stream of the Saturday. This is an all Welsh clash between Dafford Hall and Sean Hughes. Uh, marker is Joe Beatty from Ireland. Just waiting for the players to get to the mat. And we'll get underway. 12 ends to be played today. This is the uh, players' second group games. Say hello if you're uh, watching. Hello, Joe. There's Joe, World Cup winner from yesterday. Fantastic result against Sweden. So we're underway. Dafford leading off. Straight in, no trial ends. Players have had a practice this morning, so uh, obviously a one group game already. So Daff will be using the black bowls and Sean here using the blue bowls. Like I say, do say hello if you're watching and uh, any questions I'll be happy to answer. I'm giving you some comment commentary today. Craig, uh, who usually does it, is still suffering with a bit of a cold and has lost his voice. So it's not all bad. So uh, we'll get through. We've got four games for you today. This is the first game. Uh, a bit later on, we've got uh, Mark BT against John Payne. And then a junior battle between Ferdinand Franson from Norway against uh, Jonas Hager from Sweden. They played each other in the World Cup yesterday, actually. Ferdinand winning that one. And we're also bringing you Jack Pye versus Stephen Williams. Players finding the line in length pretty well straight away on the first end here. One shot at the moment to uh, Sean. This bowl just going to drift off, I think. Don't forget to uh, like and share this video so others can see uh, that we're live. Just drawing up on the forehand, try and drift round Sean's short to bowl. And he's on a pretty good road. If it'll run, he'll be close here. Yeah, it's a very good bowl. It's using uh, Taylor Lignoid, so late swing with those. Duff's got, uh, sorry, Sean's using uh, Aeros. I'm not sure what model they are. I'll just have a look. He's using Maxines, so uh, both using fairly swingy bowls. Move the jack, but just fallen back. So, first end done. Yeah, one to Duff. You see, you have 32 mats out here in the arena today. Of course, all four of the five group games being played by everyone today. And then, uh, final group games tomorrow morning, followed by the knockouts. Hello Roger, hi Gary. <laughs> yes, I'll tell uh, Duff he's, got, he's gonna have those bowls. I see you're playing together. Yep. Just drifting past with his second bowl. Good position though. Seeing Sean's front toucher, you would think Sean will look to do the same here now. Just wants to run a bit more. Yeah, it's a good bowl. Not quite a toucher, I don't think. Oh, it is a toucher. Yeah. 
That's how it's two now to uh, Sean. Hello, Andrew. Indeed, that is a World Cup winner marking. Fantastic final yesterday between uh, Ireland and Sweden, down to the very last bowl. And, uh, Ireland taking the World Cup for the fourth consecutive year now. But it really was a great game. Singles today, though, and oh, another great bowl from Sean. It's Maxim's working very well on this map. Three touches in a row. So Daff, down on the backhand, just yeah, just clipped the box, had to be fairly tight. So it's going to be a good second end for Sean now. Room to draw for four. Oh, just held off the ball, so... It's a strong three, second end. Yep, three agreed. So uh, two ends played, three one to Sean. I'll just confirm that score. There we go, three one, two ends. Sean continue, continuing where he left off last end. Oh, it's a great ball from Daff there. Needed to get one in, he's done just that. Toucher, nice shot ball. Sean back again, or oh, just a fraction over the weight, touch the jack, but uh, still one to Daff. This is the second meeting between the two players. Uh, they played each other in this tournament in the last year, in the last 16. Duff had edging it 10-9. Of course, this is a group game, but both players are still just as eager to win the game. Good effort from Duff again. Don't think it's quite in the count. Well, it might be. Yeah, it could beat the front bowl there, so it could be two actually. Oh, what a good bowl. Yeah, well, well, Sean, so back in for Shotwood. Hi, Craig. Hi, Adam. Hi, Ron. Hello, Alan. Thanks for joining. Please feel free to uh, share the video. Just held slightly straight, obviously a fraction, just a fraction over the weight. So just the one. And four one to Sean after three ends. So 
So Sean at 87 in the ranking, Daffhead at 29 currently. Um, Sean's got a very good win percentage, 84% to uh, Daffs, which is just shy of 60. Yep, Craig's still suffering a little bit, uh, Ron. Um, had a fairly decent night's sleep last night. Feeling slightly better today, but his voice isn't the best. So uh, we've got him on tea duty today for us. So giving him an, e an easy life today. But uh, hopefully he'll be back later. Might do a commentary later or maybe tomorrow. We'll see how he goes. Hello, John Inga. Thanks for joining. Just pass from Daff, so still uh, Sean's front bowl holding. Sean will just look to drop onto Daff's last bowl. Slightly narrow on line, I think, but it's going to draw the jack. Yep, so one, possibly two. We'll have a look while the players are coming down. Let's have a quick. Yeah, it's close for second bowl there. Just overreaching with the weight, just going to hold. Yeah, just chipped his own. That could have now made it two to uh, Sean. there for Sean if he'd just caught that bowl the other side it might have fallen down in for third bowl but uh, just slightly through and Duff looking at a shot on possibly the forehand to punch the jack back and uh, leave the jack to his own black bowls just behind yeah don't forget Hayden you can follow how Sean and James John are getting on uh, just by going to our website, click on the dedicated live feed page and uh, there's a tab there for full results so you can uh, see how everyone's getting on. And he's chipped one out, so Sean just having a look. Favours his own. <laughs> Daff will come down and have a look. Yep, takes it out, so one to Sean. That's now 5-1 to Sean after four ends. Hi, Gary. Yeah, English Masters is nearly full now, so uh, obviously you can still make entry via our website. Just click on the English Masters page, enter online. And we've still got some spaces for our World Pairs and Fourth Masters at the end of November. And of course, uh, entry to our final two events, the Belfast Open Pairs and the World Master Singles in Belfast in April next year will open next week, first of the month. So uh, look out for that. We expect entries to fill pretty quickly. Uh, we will have a field of around 250 for that event. So uh, should be some space, but you'll need to get your entries in fairly quickly. Hi, Ron. Yes, it is Robin Armstrong marking next door. Hi, Matt. Um, I've not seen how Benny and Yule have got on, although Yule just played on the show, Matt, against Mitchell Young from England and did lose that game. I don't know how Benny did in his first game. You can check the results and uh, see. They'll be online now. Yeah, good effort from Duff. Just off the ball wide. 
Sean is holding with a front bowl. It's a tricky situation this for Sean. Any movement's going to give it away. Oh no, he did touch it, but it rolled back. So still holding the one with the blue bowl. Similar shot for Daffodil. I think he's a bit narrower. He's got a bit more weight. Yeah, well, that's a good bowl. Perfectly chipped out. Jack didn't move. So Duff holding one. So Sean switching to the other hand. Just wants to rest on Duff's bowl. It's a great effort. Oh, no. It's a great bowl. Duff still with a one bowl to play. We're just coming down to have a look. Yeah, they, there's a slight gap between Duff's bowl. I can't quite see Sean's bowl, but it looks like it is touching, so it could be one to Sean. I think uh, Duff's certainly got to play it as if it's one down. Again, he's got the position to the left-hand side of the mat as we look here, so any movement on the jack should be for Daff. Yeah, he's not happy with that, just going to drift tight. So we'll just wait for him to confirm. Sean's going to have a look. Yeah, so it is one to Sean. And Joe just changing the score. So as you can see, 6-1 to Sean after five ends, seven to go. Thanks, Tommy. Welcome along. Nice to uh, see you're all joining us for the coverage today. It's good to be back in England. Uh, cool down a bit from sunny Cyprus. And enjoying some good bowls. We had some fantastic uh, bowling yesterday in the World Cup, considering the earliness of the season. As I said, a brilliant final between uh, Ireland and Sweden. Even the semi-finals were of a great standard. Um, so hopefully more of the same over the next two days. Yeah, good touch for Daff. Sean with another close bowl. Not too many loose bowls from these guys yet. Yeah, Sean just looking to drop under Daff's bowl, but touch overweight. Stafford sticking to the backhand. Yeah, good effort here. Oh, again, just running through. Unlucky with a touch. Now, can uh, Sean just adjust his weight slightly? Does look good. Wants to run past a jack if he can. Yeah, that's a good bolt. There's a situation on the mat. Making sure he's reaching. Yeah, it's a very good bowl. Takes a shot. Now, there is a chance, I think, for Sean to probably play the forehand. He can raise his own front bowl up and it will just push uh, Duff to the side. He could sit two. Depends on the angle he would catch that bowl. Again, he's 6 1 up, so doesn't have to risk too much here. So it's coming down with uh, about a yard of pace. Uh, just the wrong side. Un unlucky, really. So one ball to come from Daff. Again, it's tricky because uh, back position is just against him. Just behind the jack. There is still a fair bit of room just to play a wide draw. Just look to fall off of Sean's uh, outside bowl on the left as we look. If he drops in off of that, he should get two. That's the danger is just pinching the line and you could give it away. Yep, so he's going to try one out on the forehand side. 
Yeah, it's a nice bit of green. And he's given it a chance. Not sure. One conceded. Okay. So one and a measure. We'll let uh, John come in and do the measure of that. We'll come back to that shortly. So as you can see, uh, playing going on on the 32 mats here at the venue. As I said, you can keep up to date with all the scores on our website. Uh, we've got three more live games for you today. Next up will be, I think it's Jack Pye against Stephen Williams in a couple of hours. And then we'll be bringing you uh, two former world number ones, Mark Beattie and Jonathan Payne, who played yesterday in the World Cup against each other. And then finally, the Battle of the Youngsters with Jonas Hager from Sweden against Ferdinand Franson from Norway. So I hope you can join us for those games later on. Any questions you've got, please feel free to uh, send them to me and I'll answer them for you. It's uh, quite a warm day in Chelmsford, in the high 20s. Uh, we've got the air conditioning on in the centre here, so it's uh, actually quite pleasant. Although with 192 people, it's uh, a little bit warm, but not as bad as it could have been. So just still checking the measure on this, just quite close. See on the next mat here, we've got Jonathan Payne from Belgium. Just misses a block. So, measure complete. We'll uh, see what Joe does with the score. So, it was one to Daff, was it two? Yes, it was. So, it's two shots to Daff. So, six, three, six ends. Halfway there. And that was a needed end for uh, Duff there. Change of jack length up to well, just, just about three quarters. Yeah, obviously getting his back bowl in first. Sean now sticking to that hand. Got away from Sean. Yeah, good lead bowl. Touch and pass, very good. Yeah, good adjustment from Duff there, just sort of edged wide, but uh, in the mix. Yeah, very good again from Sean. It's just over an inch and a half past the jack. Might force Duff into a change of hand. Yeah, it does. Onto the forehand. Yeah, just push that. Yeah, just pushed it across the line there. Started inside out rather than playing slightly more direct with that weight. So uh, just drifted out. So a chance for Sean to put the pressure on. Ron, this is a group game. So they play four group games today. And their final group game tomorrow morning. And then we start the knockouts around about 12 o'clock midday tomorrow. Daff back to the other end to draw in. Yeah, that's uh, certainly second bowl. Yeah, just the one Joe indicates. Yeah, on a good road again. There is a slight hole there. No, I think he's in. Hi, Richard. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Avon. Hope you're well down there in the southern hemisphere. Nice and sunny this time of year. Or a bit rainy, I'm sure. So they're calling for an umpire. Don't really want to move the shot bowl because it's obviously uh, resting dafts down. I'm just coming just to show you from this angle. 
Certainly the one tight for second bowl. So actually two shots have been conceded by um, by Sean. And so they want to measure for the third bowl. So Daft's bowl that we can see that's behind the shot bowl. And uh, Sean's bowl on the left of picture is the one they want to measure for third. So it's at least eight, three, seven ends. Tricky to get the wedges in, so uh, John the umpire is just uh, pushing them in with a caliper measure just to make sure they're nice and secure under the bowl. Okay, so that's shot bowl removed. Second conceded bowl is removed. And now to measure Sean's bowl on the left against the other two black bowls. Dufford's certainly going to have to pull up the next couple of ends you would feel as it's currently well with the two counted so far eight three after seven possibly nine three So it is just a two. So uh, so there you go. Eight, three, seven ends. Okay. And on to end eight. Remember, 12 ends being played in all the uh, matches this weekend. Sean altering the jet length back to quarter short. Just uh, clip the jack there, so that's a good back toucher for uh, Sean. Just pinch the line again slightly, but uh, rest his own bowl for shot. <coughs> yeah, so a bit more weight from Sean now. Got the jack clean, so nice result. Sitting two. Just going to fall off, I think, that bow. It does, yeah. Sean pushing it out on that wide line too. Yeah, his is holding on well. Yeah, very good. Very good. So surely has to be a draw now for Dufford. Could have probably done with starting his position a bit further over there. So just pushed through middle and it didn't really hold up. I think Sean's asking for three. 
Yep, three agreed. So, another three shots to Sean. That takes him into an 11-3 lead after eight ends. And looking like a victory for Sean. Just hold on the scoreboard for those who haven't got sound on so they can see. There we go. Start from Dafford. Sean just obviously dropping short. Yeah, better line from Sean now. Just going to come past. Good position. So Duff switching. Just wanted to drop down on Sean's back ball. Just going to hang slightly. Oh, yeah, he's in for two. Three or a four will bring Dufford back into the game if he can get it here. Key bowl coming now. I think he might have to switch back. No, he's sticking to the forehand. Just wants to get inside his own last bowl. Yeah, just a touch overweight here, so... Good covering at the back. Sean with one to come. You've got to think it's just a draw for Sean, really. Yeah, switch his hands. Just looking to drop on that bowl of daffodils that's sticking out. Just short on pace. It was a very good line. So, two for Dafford, looking for a third. Now changes to the backhand. Yeah, looking good this one. Yeah, straight in, very good. So, one. Yep, three it is. So 11-6, nine ends played. And that's given Dufford a chance. He's going to need to win the remaining three ends, you would feel. Backhand side for Duff again for a draw. Sean just asking how short the bowl is. Three inches short. Anything passes good here. short from Duffer. Good chance of getting another close bowl there. So has he opened the door for Sean? Sean just looking to adjust his weight. Mm. Yeah, nice handy touch from the short bowl. It's dropped him in for shot bowl. Duff just checking to see. Yeah, Joe confirms one down. Same touch for Daff, and more than likely in for shot. Yep, so it is one to uh, Daff now. Sean, come and just have a look. You can see there it is one to uh, 
Daffod Sean back ball, second ball. Again, only one down, so interesting to see what shot he plays here. Just, yeah, switching to the forehand, so drawing round. Yeah, again, good piece of land, yeah, good position. So this could give Daff a chance. Now, you'd, I think he's going to change hands. If he can drop down on Sean's bowls, fall back onto the jack, he could roll it back for three. And that, of course, is covering then if uh, Sean plays on the other hand to try and nudge the jack. So wants to be reaching the two bowls. Looks maybe a fraction short, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell by his words there. He wasn't very happy. Opportunity missed, so just the one at the moment. Yeah, so Sean's switching hands now, just looking to try and roll the split. We'll push the bowl through and come in. Oh, wow, now then. Yeah, not a great result. I think it could be two down. Let's see what the players go with here. Nothing being given. <laughs> so, call for an umpire. You can see it is fairly close. Could even be one to uh, Sean looking at that, so we'll see what uh, John makes of it. Just a reminder for you, Sean is leading 11-6 after nine ends. This is the 10th they've just played. So, into the measure we go. So it's one to Daffod. So oh, that will take us to 11-7, so four shots in it with two ends to go, so not all over yet. Again, I'll just leave it on the scoreboard for those who are watching without sound so they can see the uh, score as Joe changes it. There we go, 11-7, 10 ends played. start from Daff nicely behind the jack. Sean looking to uh, follow that, just drop down on the bowl. Yeah, and he's done exactly that. Yeah. 
well, touch on the jack, just slightly shy of line, but uh, good position over there. Chance to move the jack, possibly. Sean drawing down the forehand side now to cover. Just wants to get back onto the bowl. Yes, good spot there, though. Yeah, shot wood from Duff, so holding the one. He's going to want probably two this end to give himself a good chance last end. Oh, Sean's just edged his own down there. Looks pretty close. Still one to Duff. decisions now because Sean's bowled directly behind that. Just a draw on the wide side, just going to hold out. So he's holding one. A chance now, maybe for Sean to come down on the backhand, just roll Daft's bowl away to the side, because leave himself holding two. Yeah, hi Ron. Yes, of course, I'll say hello to Robin. He's standing next to me, so uh, he's waving back. Yeah, great bowl from Sean there. That bowl was always vulnerable to that shot, so it's uh, just the one. So that is the game for Sean. It's 12, 7, 11 ends, so one more to play. Yeah, back to the quarter short length again for Sean. And we're into the final end. Game over, so Daft just playing some weight down through the bowl, try and move the shot bowl. These two probably favourites from this group to come through to the cup knockout. Yeah, better line from Daft for the shot now. Yeah, very good. I think we'll see similar from Sean now. Jackal bowl, yeah, just playing a good couple of feet through. Yeah, great results. Played very well, Sean, actually. This game, Daff has running very close. Yeah, another good response. Yes, that's uh, Martin Grange playing on mat number eight. Um, it's 12 8 after 11 ends. Not sure who's winning that. It is one to Sean at the moment. Duff's just coming down to look for his last ball. Sean just, just on the jack. Duff just off. I think if uh, perhaps Duff looks to play down. The backhand side, he's only just got to touch uh, Sean's bowl and the jack will spring across to his. Yeah, yeah, good bowl. So it's, I think it's just the one. Sean will just have a look. We'll just confirm that. Yep, what it is. So there you go. So it's a 12-8 victory for Sean over Dafford.
on our first live game of the uh, UK Open. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. We'll be back in a couple of hours with uh, Jack Pye against uh, Stephen Williams. So look out on our Facebook page for that and we'll uh, bring you that live. As I said earlier, you can uh, also follow all the results live on our website and uh, some videos and pictures. So uh, lots of stuff for you to look at. So thanks for joining us for this game and we'll see you in a couple of hours. Cheers.